everybody, it's your favorite auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Love After Lockup. This is season two, episode 27, Indecent Proposals. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. What you waiting on? Gosh! Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down and then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. I also want to remind you guys about Positive Vibes by Andrea's Clothing. I will leave her link down in my description box below. When you order, make sure to use coupon code Auntie Mo and you will get 10% off of your purchase, baby. That's A-U-N-T-I-E-M-O. Auntie Mo got you. That's just for you because I love you so much. You know what I'm saying? Support black owned businesses. Support black girl magic because she out here doing it for the culture. You know what I'm saying? This episode of Love After Lock uh, After Lockup, it was meh. Mm, it was some parts that I was like, what? Uh, girl. But other than that, it wasn't giving us a whole lot. But I am ready to give y'all the review. I hope you're ready for it. Because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. <laughs> Y'all, so we'll start off with Lizzie and Daniel. Pick up where I left off last, la, last time, right? She's at the door. Her um, and his mom waiting on him to come out. Finally, he comes out. He looking all shell-shocked and surprised. Like, oh, my God. Uh, la, 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 la. She tells him to drop that box, boy. Come give me a hug. He gives her a hug. She's shaking and she's crying. Now, mind you, this is the first time that they have seen each other in three years. He got locked up when they was both drunk somewhere at the house or something like that. Now, of course, she was worried about him not being attracted to her because she's gained weight. He was worried about her not being attracted to him because of the facial tattoos. Now, this one up under his eye he got, and then this one up under his neck. She even says, like, I love him. He looks good, but those tattoos on his face look horrible. They look gross, and I was right there with her. Girl, uh-uh. This one looked like a mask that you pulled down if you're in surgery. You just got to sit right there waiting. And this with the upside-down umbrella to catch your tears. Boy, stop. So they end up getting in the car, leaving from the jail finally. He in the back in the back uh, back of the car freaking out now it was cute to see him like walking out to he's like oh my god y'all hear that like it's nighttime i haven't heard nighttime in four years like he excited he get in the car mama driving down the road she going over bumps and you know turning he like yeah huh. he losing his dog on mine because he said he freaked out about how she's driving. They kind of end up going back and forth. She was like, oh, here you go with the driving. He was like, well, stop driving like that. She's like, fool, chill out. Meanwhile, Lizzie like, what in the hell is going on? Like, y'all chill out. Now, Lizzie, you ain't never seen him and his mama together. His mama don't like you. Now, I know you already don't too much like her, but you got to like him out the sake of loving on your man. But you need to see how him and his mama interact with one another because that's going to tell you a whole lot about how he going to treat you. I'm just saying though. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, they was in a car driving. He was in the back tripping, acting a fool. I was like, boy, stop. Just, you act like you ain't never been in a car chasing something before. Ain't you a criminal? Stop. Next y'all, we got my favorite, Andrea and Goldie. <laughs> so she ends up going to the studio to meet with one of his homeboys that he was locked up with. What was this boy named? Junior Boy. Child. Everybody, some kind of boy. I, I, I can't. I can't, y'all. I can't. So she goes to the studio to see Junior Boy because he was locked up with Goldie. And so she wants to know what his opinions are about Goldie. Like, is he really this hardcore gangster set trip banger that he is? Like, she knows that he sold a lot of drugs. She knows that he has a lot of money. But she says she wants to be happy and wealthy with Goldie. She wants to wake up and just decide like where she's gonna go, whether it be Peru, Jamaica, Cali, New York. I love it, girl, but just know you getting that on dope money. So I don't know how long that's gonna last. I'm just saying no, you know what I'm saying? I done read enough Triple Crown production books to know how that there can end. Obviously, you see it too. Goldie's locked up because of some crap like that. I'm just saying, that's neither here nor there. But he gets out in two days or whatever. His homeboy, Junior Boy, is saying how he's not of a hard dude. He just puts up his heart at the side and he has to do that while he's in prison because of all the politics there, how people are steady trying to break you down, see how weak you are, whoop de whoop In the process of them talking, Goldie actually ends up calling um, Junior Boy's phone. Now, she says she had talked to Goldie since he snapped on her at the photo shoot, telling her, um, what was the threat he told her? Child, you, I'm going to be, you're going to have a nightmare, something like that. He said, I was like, oh, hell no. 
So, child, Goldie calls and he apologizes. He was like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come at you that way, but I'm getting out now. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just wondering if I can trust you because you go against me and you do something I tell you not to do. She's like, but you know I love you and you ain't have to did that because you know I love you, Goldie. She's steady talking about, she keeps bringing up how he's got a lot of money, a lot of jewelry, a lot of clothes, a lot of cars. Is that why you with him? Is you with him because of that? Because he's taking care of you? Because now she's starting to wonder, like, who is this guy that I'm in love with and I'm getting ready to marry? You should have been thinking about that. I'm just saying, that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying. So later on, she ends up going with her sister, who I believe is like her manager or her assistant, too. They end up going out dress uh, shopping, and her best friend, Chiquita, is there as well. So she's out trying on dresses. She said she um, invited her mother and the rest of her sisters, but they didn't want to go because, you know, they don't want nothing to do with Gaudi. They're not messing with Gaudi like that. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, she got a criminal record just as long as his is. So why they have to judge that man, I don't know. They shouldn't be judging him like that. Should none of them be judged? None of them. That's all I'm saying. Like, everybody, everybody there. Everybody got their sins up in there. But anyways, mama comes and she kind of like thrown off. Because, you know, at first mama wasn't with it. She ain't having it. So mama like, can I talk you to the side, please? So she's like, um, mama's like, do you really love him? She's like, yes, ma'am, I do. You really want to marry him? Yes, ma'am, I do. So mama like, look here. If he can't walk it like you're talking, you're going to have to turn his ass off like the water. And I and that's on OG. Or that's on God. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, well, mama, I know he loves me and I love him and I'm going to be there for him. I'm like, okay, well, just know if you get out of line, I'm going to be here if you need to walk away. And I don't like that dress that you got on. I need you to try on something else. You know what I'm saying? That other one probably look cute on you. Mama end up having her back. I'm all here for mama. I love you, but the minute it needs to go down, it can go down. Just know that. You know what I'm saying? But moving on from them. Y'all, next up, we got Vincent and Amber. Who, y'all, this is a mess right here. It's the next morning after she done locked this fool out the bedroom because you remember she said she ain't finna sleep with him just because she fresh out of prison and she told him she was gonna marry him. She's like they getting ready to go out shopping or whatever looking for some clothes because he says that he wants to be there to support her He's still upset that he ain't got no ill not not just yet He holding on to faith that something is going to eventually go down, right? So they go into the store and it's a <laughs> Let me stop. I love my black business. Let me stop So the dude is helping her look for some different clothes. She tell him look here. I ain't into nothing tight nothing no, it looked like it was a rainbow or something that they went into, right? She go in the dressing room, try on this little romper that looked really horrible on her body. It did not fit your body at all. And she even said, like, nah, this ain't for me. This fool, this is going to say, um, because the reason why they was in the store is because she said that they finna go out and meet some of her friends. This is finna get introduced to her world. This is like, okay, now I understand you want me to meet your world and your people. Now I want to introduce you to my world. We need to go get you some good workout clothes. Amber like, oh, excuse me, what, what? I done already told you when I was locked out. That ain't me. That ain't my thing. That ain't what I finna do. He was like, I understand that, but you got me going out here, you know, meeting your people. I don't want to argue nothing about this, but don't you think you need to get to know me too? If we gonna be married, this, that, another, whoop de whoop She said, look here, <laughs> I done told you before. <laughs> I don't work out. It ain't fit to happen. Don't ask me no more. That's on period, poo. Now look here, we all know that Vincent is a mercenary. He probably killed people for a living. So he got to go get his workout, keep his mental mindset going so he know when it's go time, he can be TTG. You know what I'm saying? She ain't ready for all of that. But girl, let me tell you something, Amber. He's a mer He killed people for a living. You better get in there and do some squat thrust or something or you gonna wake up dead. I'm just saying, don't sleep on that fool. Next up, y'all, we got Cheryl and Josh. Now, Lord have mercy. Cheryl and Josh go up to the mountains, go goosing in the damn old forest somewhere in front of all these animals in the film crew and all that. Just be, girl, what would your mom and your daddy say? Just horrible, child. Went out there, put an old Matt and Caitlin goosing out there in the forest. Just doing the absolute most. You know what I'm saying? So after that, he calls his mama because he got to check in with his mama, right? He let his mama know, I'm finna go see my parole officer. After that, I'm finna hang with Cheryl and then I'll be over there later. Now, mama don't like Cheryl. That's another situation where she gonna, was gonna be uh, 
a mama all up in the business, all up in the mix, right? So they end up going to his parole officer. She waited dog on there three hours in the car for this fool to come out. He said, the good news is I got a cool ass parole officer. Bad news is he got an eight o'clock curfew. He got to wear an ankle monitor and he's been paroled out to his mama house. So Cheryl is mad. She like, I'm not gonna go kick it at your mama house to no dog on eight o'clock at night. Uh -uh, I don't even like your mama like that. She don't like me like that. He like, look here, y'all gonna have to learn how to get along. Cause I ain't got time for this with y'all going back and forth and forth and back and all of that. I'm just finna sit here and I'm finna enjoy the ride. He look like he ain't trying to get off in the middle of it, but sir, you ain't gonna have no choice sooner or later, especially if you trying to be with your girl, child. That's a hot ass mess right there. Moving on from now. Y'all, next up, we got Angela and Tony. Now this part right here was crazy as hell to me. Now we don't see Tony this episode, but we do see her best friend, Tommy. Now her and Tommy have been friends since graduate school. So we know Angela's smart. She got a good head on her shoulders, but she's still running after Tony. That's the love of her life, right? Now Tommy, I knew from the jump, Tommy had feelings for Angela, right? Now, Angela is telling Tommy about, you know, how when they got out, how they just went to go have dinner, how he really didn't want to get it in right then and there because he said, he claimed that he wanted it to be special. Whoop de whoop. Tommy seen right there, right through that because he a man, he already know he didn't want to get it. Girl, girl, bye. Girl, bye. So, Tommy is like that friend that's like, you know, you shouldn't be with him. You shouldn't do that. I'm going to be here for you if you need me. Whoop de whoop. Tommy goes and leaves. Cheryl's doing her interview. Next thing you know, Tommy walk in on the interview. Cheryl like, you supposed to be in here, fool? I'm feeling, what is you doing? Camera people like, no, he had something to tell you. Tommy, go right ahead. They wanted to see it go down. Tommy like, look here. I just wanna let you know you getting into it with somebody who don't even know you. You know me, girl. I love you, girl. Go ahead and marry me. Cheryl looking like, boy? Uh-uh. But she straight up told him, I can't see myself getting intimate with you like that. No, I just can't see it. But Tommy still thinks that it can possibly happen. He's like, look here, once you see that he's not the one and that I'm going to be the one for you, I'll be here to pick up the pieces. Okay, I was kind of thrown off. She was speechless as hell. She was like, Tommy, boy, no, no Tommy, no. Go on, get your hat and get the hell on up out of here now. Don't stop. Y'all, lastly, we got Lacey and Shane. Okay, girl. So, <laughs> this is a trip. They go have breakfast. Shane is so overwhelmed. He been locked up since he was 17. It's 21 now, right? He been locked up for four years. He in the restaurant. He don't even know what to do. He like, just give me some eggs and bacon. She like, how do you want your eggs? He was like, uh, the eggs? I don't know. Surprise me. He don't know. He's just so overwhelmed. He asked Lacey, you so beautiful. How do you not have a boyfriend? Baby, when I tell you Lacey popped that so quick, well, I had a husband. We were separated for a year, and I just recently got divorced. And yeah, it is what it is. She was quick with that. Real quick with it. She came up with it off the dome. So later on, after they have breakfast, they go check in at the Quality Inn, right? Instead of getting one bedroom like we all thought, he even thought she was finna get, she gets two conjoined rooms. I'm thinking, okay, maybe she real freaky with She like, we gonna do a here on this bed, here on this bed, over this tub, over this tub. Oh no, ma'am. She goes, he gets in the bed, getting all comfy because he like, oh, it's the go down. That's what he thought. Lacey come out in her panties and bra, sounding like one of the damn city girls, panties and bra. She came out. Go sits on top of him, starts teasing him, all this and the other say, I want us to get to know each other before we get it in. I just wanted to tease you so you can see what to expect. He looking like, what the fuck? What, huh? She gets up off of him, is like, okay, good night, I'm going to bed. Goes in the other room, locks the door, and goes to bed. Now he act like he cool with it. That's because he really ain't got no choice. He ain't got no money. You ain't got nowhere to go. So you gotta act like you cool with it. But I'm sure he was probably all kind of, what the, th th I know he did. I know he did. Cause even I was looking like, girl, you was, y'all was doing up. Okay, okay. Cause it was another scene before they even got to the hotel. They was up in some dressing room getting ready to get it in right then and there. And that's when she says that they hadn't messed around just yet. I thought they did. Cause you know what I'm saying? 
The minute she embraced him when he got out of prison, she was laying low and spreading the wild for him. So I thought that's what she was doing the whole time. But apparently not. Y'all, the episode ended right there. Like I said, it really didn't give a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? But I had to make this video stretch. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. If it was something that I missed, please drop it down in the comments and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out what's up y'all do me a favor and share the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and um hit that notification button so you will be up to date when i upload my latest videos i holla